So this is Y to identify biology practical prep. So this is second category. If you are seeing this video, kindly request for the first video because I have explained the first category in my previous video. So this is the second category. This second category will be, will be looking into four different specimens, which is specimen B, C, D, E, and F. So the first question they can ask you in this second category question is that you should identify specimen. So specimen C, D, E, F. So specimen C is water leaf plants. Water leaf plants. So you have to indicate that is the whole of the water leaf plants. Why specimen D? Specimen D is quill feather. So of a fowl. Specimen E is what? Pineapple fruit, the longitudinal section. Pineapple fruit, longitudinal section. White specimen F. Specimen F is orange fruits. Why this one is a transverse section? So, another question they can ask you from this second category of specimen C, D, E, F is that you should identify the type of fruits in specimen E and F. Is that specimen E is multiple fruits, while specimen F is a simple fruit. So, specimen E is a what? Multiple fruit. Why specimen F is what? Is a simple fruit. That is, if you have to identify the type of fruit in specimen E and what? And specimen F. So, specimen F is simple fruit. So, another question they can ask you from this second category of specimen C, D, E, F is that you should compare the two fruits in terms of placenta arrangement, edible parts, and type of ovary. So, if you have to compare, compare the two fruits in terms of placenta arrangement. So, in terms of placenta arrangement for E, in terms of placenta arrangement for specimen E, that one will be central. Why for specimen F, that one will be azy. And in terms of edible parts, for in terms of edible parts, for specimen E, it's going to be freshly receptacle. Freshly receptacle. Why for specimen F, that one is that one is going to be a juice sac. Juice sac. Now, for the type of ovary, so the type of ovary, when comparing specimen E and specimen F, is that for specimen E, the type of ovary now, for specimen E is inferior. Inferior. Why for specimen F is superior? So that is if you have to compare, if, yeah, if you have to compare the two fruits in terms of Placenta arrangement, that is what the central is for the specimen E, while the azar is for the specimen F. If you are asked to compare in terms of the edible parts, for specimen E is freshly receptacle, while for specimen F is juice sac. And if you are asked to compare in terms of the ovary, start of the ovary, the specimen E is inferior, while the specimen F is superior. Now, another question they can ask you from this. Second category, which is um, specimen C, D, E, F, is that you should state two uses of specimen C. So, the uses of specimen C is that number one, it is what? It is vegetable for soup. And remember that specimen C, specimen C is water leaf plants. I mean, a whole of water leaf plants. So, one of the uses of specimen C is that it is what? Vegetable for soup. 
one vegetable for soup. Meaning that people used to use this water leaf plant to cook. And another use this is that it is a treatment for anemia. So treatment of anemia. Now, another question they can ask you in this second category for specimen C, D, E, F is that you should state one way specimen C is adapted for photosynthesis. State one way in which specimen C is adapted for photosynthesis. And that will be what? It has a broad leaf, which increases, I mean, it has a broad leaf, which increases the surface area for light absorption. It has a broad leaf. which increases the surface area for light absorption. So that will be the answer to that. So in case they ask you that you should state one way specimen C is adapted for photosynthesis. So because of its broad leaves, which increases the surface area for light absorption now another question they can ask you again is that you should state sorry you should observe specimen d carefully and state the function of one the allo shaft and what the vein so for the allo shaft So for this, then what are you going to write? If you have to observe specimen D and state the function of the hollow shaft, what are you going to write? You're going to write, it makes the feather light weight. It makes the feather light weight. That is, it makes the feather light weight. And then what about the vein? The vein. The vein. Now for that, you're going to write it aid flight by creating surface area. It aid flight. Flight. It aid flight by creating surface area. Now, another question they can ask you from this same category is that they can ask you that what is the importance of the structure in specimen D to bed? What is the importance of the structure in specimen D to bed? So, the importance of the structure in specimen D to bed is that it helps in flight and insulation. Helps in flight. And what and insulation. So those are the possible questions you can see from your exam. So you now for the top category, which is specimen G, H, and J. Remember that there is no high G, H, and J. That will be in the next video. So if you need the video for the third category, just comment in the comment section that you need the third category video for this 2025 biology practical prep.